everybody, welcome back to Chiquelle's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here to bring you another review today of a beautiful wig. Now, I'm always getting requests for wigs that are low density, no permatees, and I'm also always getting requests for brown colors. So I have that for you today in the wig Fiery by John Renault in the color R, sorry, in the color 8 RH14. Fiery is a beautiful low density pretty much no permatease wig. And this is a piece that I, it wasn't really on my radar before, but once I got it in my hands and tried it on, I actually really love this. So let me go ahead and show you the cap before I put this on for you. We're gonna have a full monofilament top. So this monofilament top allows you to change the part wherever you want, pretty much gives you the ultimate styling versatility on top of your head. We also have a temple to temple lace front. So it's not extended, it just goes right to about here, which you'll see once I put it on. We are going to have some open wefting here in the cap that's really breathable, ventilated. Um, open wefted caps are generally more stretchy than hand tied caps. So if you have a little bit bigger than average head, I would suggest leaning toward open wefted caps as they're gonna allow you to stretch it out, especially if your measurements from front to nape and ear to ear are a little bit bigger than average. We have some velvet ear tabs here with of course the metal stays in there and the metal stays are there to help you um, keep that wig flush against your temples here. We have just a standard nape. It is velvet, but it's not extended, just standard. I find that with these thinner standard napes, this makes it a little bit easier if you have your own hair underneath and it's a color match. If you were to put your hair up into a ponytail, these napes work a little bit more easily to pull some of your own hair out underneath to bring it up over top so it looks like your hairline is your own hairline because, well, it would be. <laughs> but I find it's a bit easier to do that when you have these thinner napes. All right, and we also have these Velcro adjusting straps. All right, let me put this on so we can see what this lovely piece looks like. Again, it is really low density. When I put this on for the first time, I noticed how lightweight it was. Now, just know that I, like I said, I have put this on before, but I haven't done anything to it other than take out the zigzag part. So this is generally what it's going to look like right out of the box. I find that it fits very true to average size, which I find mostly John Renault does. So if you do have a bit larger circumference than 21.5, you might find it a bit snug. So I wouldn't say any more than a 22 inch circumference would fit this because even on me, I measure 20.5 inch circumference. Even on me, this feels like it fits just great and I haven't even taken any adjusters yet. There is a little bit of extra bulk in the rest of the cap for me. I'm 11 and a half front to nape and 11 and a half ear to ear. So I find with pretty much any average cap, I'm always gonna have bulk, but for me, I don't truly mind that. But like I said, this is a very um, true to average fit for the most part. Now let's talk about the color here. So this is the color 8 RH14. So the color 8 is going to be a medium brown base. It's a fairly neutral base, I would say. It doesn't lean too warm, doesn't lean too cool. Um, and the RH14, so the 14 is gonna mean it has some natural blonde highlights. I do feel like the highlights run a little bit cool though. The RH in the color code stands for Renault Highlight. And that just means that it's gonna be a little bit more heavily highlighted than just the standard 8H14. The RH means that it will have 33% highlighting. If this were just the color 8H14, it would have about 20% highlighting. So the RH gives you a little bit more highlighting. I'm standing in front of a shaded window right now, so I do have natural light on me. I don't have any other indoor lighting or fluorescent lighting going on. This is just a natural shaded window. No sunlight is beating on me, and I feel like the color I see in the camera is very similar to the color that I see in person. Let's take a look at this lace front. Now, John Renault, for this wig and in this particular color, I love how they brought forward these blonde highlights. Now what that's gonna do for this piece is it's going to disguise the knotting in the lace front a little bit more so that you're not gonna really see that knotting. 
This is a really natural lace front. They did a great job. Now from the lace front into the wefting, whenever the lace front isn't extended, you're always gonna see a little bit of a transition between the lace and into the sort of wefted cap part. So that, it kind of bothers me sometimes, but you just have to be careful when you're pulling it off your face because you'll kind of be able to see that. So I generally keep hairs around there down to help hide that a little bit more. So just be careful. This isn't one you would like completely pull off your face because it's not extended. It would just be up until about here. So it does have a full monofilament top as well. So that just means we can change the part wherever we want. And I also feel like they did a really great job of this monofilament top, making the knotting fairly small. And I'll show you how we can change it somewhere else. So great for styling options, of course. All right, so when you get this wig, it will come with a left zigzag part. I always suggest to take out that zigzag part. And you're gonna notice it does have a little bit of this side swooping fringe. Now, of course, you can change it to a center part. And when you do that, it almost gives a really nice curtain bang, which I love. So these front pieces here are gonna run about eight inches long. You're gonna notice there is a ton of layering in this wig. Um, because these are some shorter front pieces, some people might say that the wig looks a little bit mullety, <laughs> um, but I think it's a really cute style. You'll notice the ends are flicked out in sort of different directions. However, this is made with John Renault's heat friendly fibers. So that means that you can take um, a hair straightener if you want and straighten it completely out, or you could take a curling iron and give it a curl. Um, the world is really your oyster when you have HD fibers. All right, the other measurements for this, on the sides, you're gonna see about 12 and a half inches of length. At the crown, there's gonna be about 14 inches. And from the nape, you're gonna run 10 and a half inches long. I find this to be a really soft fiber. I am loving how this is feeling right now. The fiber mixed with all the layering in this and sort of the feathered ends makes this a really lightweight, feathery feeling piece. Let me spin around so we can admire this piece at all angles. So like I said, this is a very low density piece and there really is no hermities at all. So if you are really into this low profile look, then Fiery might be one for you. This is a really nice piece to style back as well mostly because of these bangs that you have here. I always prefer styling it off of my face when I have more of these face framing layers in the front. So this is really cute and a half up, half down. Let me add this little claw here so you can see what it looks like. The only thing with wefted caps is you just have to be certain that your hair is covering the wefting and it's not exposing any of your scalp for the open wefts. So super cute in this half up half down. It would also look really elegant in a claw clipped back and off of your face. Let me do that really quickly for you here. So this is one that you can dress up a little bit, dress down, and these pieces in front make it nice and feminine and flirty. So it makes for a really nice style for going out somewhere maybe a little bit fancier. And then of course, I think this would make for a really nice, just everyday wig. The style is not overdone. There's not too much hair, so you're not gonna feel like swamped with all of this hair on you. And it's just a really easy, casual piece to throw on and go. Now you will notice that over time, because these are HD fibers, heat defiant fibers, the ends are gonna get frizzy and frazzly. And that's generally gonna happen pretty quickly with these fibers. So the way to fix that is with heat. So all you need to do is take your flat iron, go through the ends and straighten them out. And that's gonna get rid of all of those frazzly frizzly ends. Just know that doing that is gonna take away these little flippies. So if you want these back, then what you would need to do is kind of mold it into the shape with your hands. So you could go through with the hair straightener, which is gonna straighten it out. But while it's still hot, shape it the way you want it and let it cool like that. Once you let it cool for about a minute, once you let go, it's gonna stay in that new shape 
that you've made for it. So overall, Fiery is gonna be a pretty easy piece to maintain because it is straighter, because it is heat defiant. This is a piece I would absolutely recommend. I really am loving this. And if you are too, then make sure you go and check this out at our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca or chiquelle.com.au. We have this piece among many, many other options. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope this helps you a bit with your wig journey. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.